Hi, this is Suma Rauji and I write a baking blog called Cakes and More. This video is about using a convection microwave for baking. I've been using my LG convection microwave since the last 3 plus years and it has worked really well for me. So I thought we'd make a video on how to use a convection microwave. Broadly speaking, there are three types of microwaves we commonly see here in India. Uh, one is the basic or the solo microwave which we use for cooking and reheating. And uh, then we have the microwave come grill in which you can cook, reheat and uh, grill food as well. And then we have the co convection microwaves uh, which in which you can use uh, you can use it for uh, cooking, baking, reheating and uh, grilling food. So basically you can do everything in a convection microwave. If you have purchased a convection microwave, congratulations, you have purchased a very good gadget for your kitchen. And uh, sometimes it happens that uh, we are gifted ovens and then we don't uh, use them for a very long time. We end up keeping them somewhere in the kitchen and then uh, so many years later we realize that uh, there's an oven and then you are inspired to bake. So how do you know the one you have is a convection microwave? Let's take a look at the panel here. This microwave, grill, convection, combination and the timer, stop button, start button increase and decrease buttons this basically helps you increase and decrease the temperature uh, you would have set on the convection mode this entire panel is digital and everything that is displayed here is digital so that uh, really helps you set the temperature and the time as accurate as you want it to be so if you need to set your microwave on a microwave mode you need to press microwave and then you can see that it sets at the maximum power here which is 900 watts my microwave sets at 900 watts and if you want to reduce the power level all you need to do is repeatedly press the same button yeah so that the power level varies you will find it useful if you want to melt chocolate in the microwave then this is something you really need to know uh, because uh, you would need to melt it at medium power and not at the high power otherwise you may not find this function very useful and then you have a grill mode here and then there is convection and this of course is for grilling food you just press grill and then set the timer so when you buy your convection microwave you can expect these accessories to come along with your microwave this is the grilling rack and this is the shorter rack which you'll use for baking and then most probably you'll get some uh, big and uh, a flat uh, tray or something for baking pizza that's the intention with which they give you this tray uh, but I normally use this for uh, baking custards because this works very well as a water bath for me. And then inside your microwave there will be a glass turntable and this remains inside the microwave oven at all times no matter what you are doing. Uh, whether you are using it on microwave mode or grill or convection or whatever this always always needs to stay inside the microwave. In case you do not have any of these accessories uh, in your microwave if you haven't used your microwave for a while then maybe you should contact your service center and they should be able to provide you these accessories for a price let's see how we operate this on convection mode whenever you use a convection microwave for baking you always always need to preheat the oven except in some very rare cases in ready very rare cakes where uh, you are uh, required to set the temperature and then put the cake inside the oven so that it starts preheating at that point of time but then that kind of a thing would not really be possible in a convection microwave so normally baking uh, any cake or uh, cookies or pizzas or breads or just about anything you always need to preheat the oven so let's see how we preheat the convection microwave when you need to preheat the first thing you need to do is of course place the shorter rack inside the oven and this you would be doing when your cake or uh, cookie batter is almost ready because this hardly takes about 5 minutes to preheat. You press the convection button so you see that it sets at 180 degrees centigrade or 350 degrees Fahrenheit by default and uh, assuming your recipe needs you to set the temperature at 190 degrees centigrade. So what you do is you increase it is now 190 degrees. You want to do it to 200, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240 and 250. This will be the maximum temperature you could set at. And decreasing the temperature the same way. Keep on pressing the decrease button. And as you can see 40 degrees centigrade is the lowest. There isn't 50, 60, 70, 80 or 90. There is 
the next will be 100 and then on you can increase the temperature again okay so assuming we want to set the temperature to 180 degrees centigrade so this is at 180 degrees and then you just press the start button now you can see that uh, the oven is preheating you can see this here and it will take a couple of minutes for the oven to reach 180 degrees centigrade when the oven is hot you can hear the beep so this is the beep you would hear when the oven reaches 180 degrees centigrade you just stop and then put your uh, cake or bake or whatever inside at this point of time you need to make sure uh, even before you preheat that the lower rack here inside the oven is stable and is in the center of the turntable and then close the door and then set the timer say about 25 minutes then we'll press 10 10 and then start so this is set at 25 minutes set for 25 minutes at 180 degrees centigrade so coming to advantages of using a convection microwave uh, there are some advantages and some disadvantages as well so when you use a convection microwave uh, the best thing about the convection microwave is the fast preheat feature which happens in about uh, five minutes even if you want to set it at the maximum temperature of 250 degrees centigrade uh, which is uh, otherwise not possible in an otg it will take much longer but the maximum time here would be about five minutes uh, not more than that so even during uh, school days or uh, in your office rush you can always take the time to just pop in some cookie dough or some cake batter and bake some muffins for yourself and for your kids and then the digital display which helps you to set the temperature and the timer very accurately and then uh, there is the space optimization always because this works for uh, cooking heating baking as well so if you do not have any kind of a baking gadget or even a microwave then it makes great sense to uh, invest in a convection microwave because you could do everything in this the heat in the convection microwave is uh, more even as uh, your uh, cake or cookie bakes because the turntable keeps rotating when uh, the cake is baking so it helps in even distribution of heat so you don't really need to there is no real need to uh, rotate the tray from back to front and front to back halfway through baking because it anyways keeps rotating all the time. There are some disadvantages of using the convection microwave also. Uh, nothing uh, really that would stop you from using the convection microwave uh, but then uh, the oven is limited by capacity. This is a 30 litre convection microwave. You can bake but only on one level here. Once you place the lower rack here, this is all the space you have here to keep your baking tin so you can't put it on another rack and bake two trays at a time you could try doing this but I wouldn't really recommend I'm not sure if it would bake well you may end up with the bake both here and here not properly baked so you don't really want to take a chance like that and then the other thing is if you want to use a slightly larger tray here then you would not be able to use it as the turntable keeps rotating, then the sides of the tin would hit the walls of the microwave and you would find that a problem. So be sure that before you bake anything, you first keep the tray in here. If it's a slightly larger one, please put it in, try to switch on the oven and see if it rotates freely and only then you can plan to bake. I use this more often than I use my OTG uh, now, uh, especially because of the fast baking feature. Uh, so this on convection mode works just the way as uh, OTG works when it is baking. So please do not have any kind of a, uh, hesitation to use this for baking. And uh, coming to the uh, bakeware you could use for baking, you can use everything you use in a OTG like uh, borosil or pyrex. Be sure that it is very good quality glass when you put it in the microwave or it may shatter. And then you could use the normal regular aluminum uh, tins we use for baking and then also the porcelain ramekins uh, and uh, other uh, bakeware, oven suitable, oven proof bakeware, you could use them. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please leave your comments and let me know your suggestions and feedback.